Hey there, Mario Pesci from Derrick's here. So I was on Quora lurking around as usual and someone asked the following question. How can I become a rockstar WordPress developer? And it's kind of one of my favorite topics. My blog devwp.eu is almost entirely focused on that specific subject because I've spent a lot of time in the WordPress world. I've been building, you know, various applications, software as a service, multi-site and so on and so on and so on. On top of WordPress, I started contributing to the WordPress core in WordPress 3.7. Now we are at uh, 4.95 and, you know, version 5 is going to be released soon. Uh, you know, I've organized some of the largest events for, you know, the WordPress community. You know, I've been around and prior to joining the WordPress community, I spent almost a decade in the software engineering world, being building enterprise applications with Java, uh, Python, and also a bunch of different, uh, you know, languages and frameworks and so on. So I have, a, I'm very opinionated when it comes to, uh, you know, who is a WordPress developer and so on. Recently on my uh, podcast for WordPress for small and medium enterprise and, uh, you know, high scale uh, platforms, I spoke about that and I've discussed the different job titles in WordPress because people occasionally they say that they're WordPress experts, ninjas, gurus, whatever they want to do. And it kind of makes sense for them, but you know, nobody says they're an internet expert. Nobody says they're a web expert. You know, what does that mean? It carries no value whatsoever because you can be an expert on the entire landscape of, of the internet, of the web. And WordPress is also so broad, it's powering 30.5% of the web right now. And there's a lot, you know, to WordPress, if you think about it. You know, it's a, it's a content management system, which used to be a blogging platform, which is now used as an application framework. People do design, front-end development, back-end server management, optimization, running managed hosts, doing translations for, and also building themes and building plugins and tools and libraries and, uh, you know, dealing with accessibility, dealing with GDPR right now, which is important for the kind of WordCamp Europe, uh, sorry, for the European kind of community, which is also impacting the rest of the world and so forth. So obviously it's a humongous tool and a lot of people are spending their time full time doing WordPress by doing support or design, creative, front end, back end, legal, translation, whatever it is. So it's, it's obviously a large wide area. So with that in mind, WordPress developer is also something that's extremely vague. That's, that can mean a lot of things. And that's why I don't normally kind of advise people to use WordPress developer as a title, unless they're kind of a generalist building code for all sorts of WordPress applications, usually a low tier. Why? For two specific reasons. First off, a lot of people are claiming to be WordPress developers without writing code. And uh, I've written a very controversial article back in the day a few years ago that became viral on Hacker News. And, you know, a bunch of people said, well, you're not right. It's, it's development, you know, essentially it's development. You're developing a website. You're bringing a website to life. But in a nutshell, it isn't. It simply isn't. Because software development is the process of analyzing and drafting business requirements, a lot of other things, coding, you know, producing programming code and testing and so on. So unless the coding part is missing, then you're simply not a developer. So, but of course there were just a few cases and there were, you know, hundreds of software engineers who were kind of hardcore coding ninjas who supported my uh, kind of idea. So that was kind of okay. But, you know, I don't want to out people and they don't want to shame people who are joining the WordPress industry. That's definitely not my point, but, you know, hear me uh, loud and clear. WordPress development is building applications through coding. It could be building custom plugins, platforms, integrations, migrations, you know, additional features for an existing platform, whatever, but it's essentially coding. Because when a client is hiring a WordPress developer who hasn't really done any code, that's like hiring a plumber who hasn't seen a pipe. That's what it is. So obviously there is a mismatch here, but you know, I digress. Case in point is WordPress developers are, again, in the, in the large ecosystem, what we can find out there. When you look at, you know, sites like Upwork or Freelancer or just, you know, freelance websites, or when you submit a job on Jobs WordPress.net, when you do that, you're going to get a lot of applications from mainly people who have either started and they're actually, you know, usually junior developers or with three to four, uh, three to four years of programming with WordPress, but the vast majority are going to be site customizers, installing themes, barely updating CSS here and there and moving modules here and there, reading on WordPress support forums, how to do something and how to do not. 
So if you want to be a professional developer, you are not going to be titled as such after spending a couple of years in the industry. Usually you're going to try to escape for that misconception of what does a WordPress developer do. And you're going to be something slightly different, like WordPress plugin developer or you know building extensions for WooCommerce if you specialize in WooCommerce, BuddyPress, LearnDash, some of the kind of large plugins, Gravity Forms or, or anything else. Uh, or you're going to be WordPress front-end developer because it's still development but it's important to understand the difference between front-end and back-end and clients they want to know what kind of skills they're working with. Uh, because most of the people I know, they say, well, you know, I'm essentially developing with WordPress and I know some front end and I know some back end and I know some, you know, hosting stuff, usually cPanel and whatnot. So, you know, I want to help clients and clients are looking for WordPress developers. But here's the tricky bit. You can't know everything unless you spend at least a decade full time working in WordPress in all sorts of capacities. And usually that's not enough, could be more than 10 years. But when you start a job where you're a full stack something then you better be good at it because otherwise your client may want to you know redo something with foundation but uh, also implement flexbox or something else for responsive devices that's hiding something and automatically adjusting something so if your front end is not good you're not going to be able to do that or write complex javascript by integrating react or vue.js to your application on the other hand if you're good at front end and they say well i want to build a custom plugin that connects this plugin with this plugin or those two APIs, like we're doing kind of all the time. So if, again, if you don't know that, it's going to be a bummer. So you better specialize in something and say, I am a front-end developer, like I am a WordPress theme developer, WordPress plugin developer, uh, or uh, WordPress migration specialist, WordPress, again, SaaS developer, e-commerce developer, something that actually says that you're doing a specific thing in your niche. So when you do that, make sure you have you are able to build an entire application on top of WordPress from scratch uh, in, in the best possible manner. As a theme developer, you should get a design or at least some HTML and be able to provide something very comprehensive, very robust, very feature rich on top of WordPress by doing the kind of front end development part. If you're a back end developer, you should be able to create plugins uh, and you better have some portfolio of plugins before applying for that job. And that's, again, extremely important. That's something that's mandatory. So if you want to be a rock star, kick-ass developer, just make sure you specialize, you profile, you solve complex problems uh, as much as possible. Like, if you build a plugin and if you want to make it a great plugin, you can do several things. First, set it up on, you know, five different hosting providers and set up a bunch of different plugins working with your own plugin. Enable all the bugging and their logging and whatnot, and make sure that your plugin still works after those tests. So this way you're testing different environments, different versions of uh, Apache or Nginx, PHP, MySQL, and so on, and different plugins in order to see whether there are any conflicts before that. If you want to test performance, set up a you know, $5 a month digital ocean or just a basic shared hosting website, Install, just use some dummy page builder or run a you know, SQL query that's injecting hundreds of thousands or even millions of posts or whatever enters you're working with. And then do some stress test or load test with AB or Siege or just some online load testing too. And see how it behaves. See how many concurrent users you're uh, running. See, you know, basically do some testing around. Try to break your platform as best as possible, as much as possible, as fast as possible. And this way you're going to learn a lot about what happens in a real world application. What happens when you release a plugin to 20,000 users and they start seeing different problems due to a problematic theme or due to some other plugins causing issues or due to something else. So if you specialize in that, if you do it, if you are really progressively trying to break it, you're going to learn a lot along the way. You can sign up for tools like Browser Stack and test with older version of Internet Explorer or Safari or older iPhones or anything else, again, in order to try to replicate specific problems and make some, some issues. Uh, continuously learn and read. Read make WordPress org slash core, uh, follow some of the core contributors, follow some plugin developers, try to see how the, the you know, core development is being done, what considerations are being taken into account. Uh, try to contribute to some of that or try to at least contribute to some tools like WPCLI or BuddyPress or BBPress or anything else in order to see how professional development is being done. So keep hustling, keep trying to be the best developer you can. Never believe you know anything, uh, everything and it's going to work out sooner or later.